Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and I got a viewer question the other day that said, why does Australia have a current account surplus? And I thought, that's a really good question. And one of those rare questions where there is a relatively straightforward answer, not the simplest answer, but a relatively straightforward answer. And that what I've done is I've taken this information from the Australian Bureau of Statistics. So would you believe I didn't come up with this myself? And that I will include a link to this specific web page in the show notes. I think that the best place to start is with this graph here. So that you can see that the light blue line is the current account balance. And that if we put this red line here, you could see that's where zero is. So that would be a balanced current account. And that here, that's the deficit. And then here, it would be the surplus. So with this light blue line, you can see that, oh, it's been deficit, deficit, deficit. And that here is when it is becoming a surplus. So here we have a current account surplus that is greater than $21 billion. So then we think about, well, why is this the case? So the first thing to think about is that this orange brownie line, net primary income, can you see that that is still in deficit? That yes, it has become a little bit smaller, but it's still around about. So if we're thinking about why has the current account improved and become a surplus, well, net income has shrunk, which has helped, but it's still pretty large in terms of things. So you could see here it was around, I don't know, 12, and that here it's sort of around 8-ish, still pretty big deficit. So that the answer to why we have a current account surplus lies in this navy blue line, which is net goods and services. So you can see here that net goods and services has become larger and larger, and that here it is getting close to $30 billion surplus. So that if we think about the main drivers of the current account, that the main drivers are the balance on goods and services. So let's just put this down. So if we think about, okay, what tends to affect Australia's current account deficit? The main things that are the balance on goods and services, BOGS, which is also known as the trade balance, and net primary income. These are the two main drivers of Australia's current account deficit. So that net primary income largely is sort of still in deficit. Sorry, let's try that again. <laughs> net primary income largely hasn't changed. It is still a large deficit. Australia's a net capital importer, all those sorts of things. But if we think about why Australia currently has a current account surplus, is that the trade balance bogs that has increased, right? So that this is becoming a larger surplus and that as NPY has shrunk slightly, that if we put these two things together, that we have moved from a current account deficit to the current account surplus. So if we can see here is that Australia's June quarter record current account surplus, so it's a record current account surplus, came off the back of, so that that is the reason why it happened is because of strong bulk commodity prices, right? And that commodities, they are Australia's main exports. So in particular, the iron ore price drove a record metal ores and mineral export value of $53.3 billion. So that, that is helping in terms of the exports. So that we're seeing here, why is that increasing? A rise in exports and a rise in export prices. What's interesting as well is that the ABS says that yes, imports continue to rise, but the real strength in exports and export prices means that that is larger than the rise in imports. I'll put a link to the ABS article 
in the show notes. And if you've got any questions, comments or concerns, just put them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.